Let's talk briefly about Thorne's creatine monohydrate. If you want a more in-depth discussion regarding creatine, uh, we did film a previous video that you can reference for some of the nitty gritty. Um, but in case you fell asleep during that one, here's a quick reminder um, just of the kind of the, the importance and utility of creatine. So creatine is stored at the level of the muscle and then through supplementation, we can hopefully you know, improve or increase the capacity of ATP or regeneration or energy regeneration and that whole system that's at work when we're exercising or you know, kind of that intensity picks up. If our capacity to exercise can increase, then ideally our results from said exercise can also improve. And who, would, who wouldn't want to kind of give themselves the best opportunity to improve that capacity? Also, if we look at the hydrogen ion buffering capacity of creatine, this is another mechanism by which exercise capacity can be improved. Um, a lot of people have, you may have heard about lactic acid and muscle soreness and those sorts of terms, but really it's sort of the accumulation of these hydrogen ions that when these you know chemical reactions are taking place during intense exercise, those uh, that acidity of the hydrogen ions are what ultimately can lead to muscle failure, muscle fatigue, and then ultimately some muscle soreness. So creatine, you know, can help with, you know, help in buffering this. So some additional benefits would then be just the enhancement of the post-exercise recovery from session to session. So which then allows you to kind of, um, you know, complete more work. And then thirdly, there are even some clinical applications showing modest benefit in both brain and bone health. So why did we switch to this specific creatine product from what we previously carried? Creatine monohydrate is simply less expensive for the consumer, and even with the higher price tag of the buffered form that we previously carried, there's really no additional benefit. So we bring this product to you to save you a few bucks and also ensure that you're still getting kind of the biggest bang for your buck in effectiveness in, you know, whatever athletic or, you know, uh, physical activity endeavor you pursue. So the next part of this is simply the fact that it's been proven to be very well tolerated. I know that I've heard a lot of people throw around the issues with bloating, uh, loading doses, which can be a bit cumbersome, all those sorts of things. Uh, but rest assured, that's generally not the case. When dosed appropriately, you do avoid some of those side effects. So if you stick to the five to 10 grams a day dosing, which is what the thorn, which is what thorns serving size reflects, for the most part, you can avoid many of these side effects. Again, the side effects occur when you're loading and you're increasing this dose to upwards of 20 grams a day for four to seven days, which is a math, you know, market increase. Next step, similar to Thorne's protein product that we are, we are now carrying, the quality, safety, and purity is a massive level of importance. Again, they, this product contains the NSF certified for sport certification, which just ensures, you know, the current good manufacturing processes. And so who exactly is this product for? It's for men and women of all ages and backgrounds, simply looking to get more out of their physical activity. Increasing strength, capacity, and lean muscle mass, as bodybuilder-ish as that might sound, is critical for living a life, you know, as large as possible. Creatine can help enhance these benefits. Similar to whey protein, I view creatine monohydrate as another incredibly foundational, staple, kind of must-have product. These are both things that I have used for years, that I continue to use, and for the right demographic, you know, I will continue to recommend. So whether you just started walking twice a week, or you play, rec you know, recreational sports and adult league sports, or if you just started running half marathons, this product can also be a staple for you. So a quick how-to, it's quite simple. I would start with just mixing five grams in water or a smoothie once a day. Um, if you do notice any sort of a GI upset and such, you can split this up, you know, half a scoop in the morning, half a scoop later in the day. But the critical part is just making sure you get that five to 10 grams uh, per day. But be sure to make sure you check with your doctor before, you know, starting a product like this. This is creatine monohydrate from Thorne. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this video, we would appreciate it very much if you would subscribe and hit the bell below. Thanks.